I'm Roland McDevitt with the United States Coast Guard Auxiliary and the American Canoe Association. And I'm Jules from Kitty Hawk Kites. We'd like to welcome you to the Outer Banks of North Carolina, truly a boater's paradise. In the next few minutes, we'll count down the top 10 things you can do to make kayaking adventures as satisfying and safe as possible. Number one, wear your life jacket. The Coast Guard requires you to have a properly fitted life jacket readily available on your kayak. And if you're under 13, you must be wearing your life jacket at all times while paddling. A life jacket only works if you're wearing it, and it's difficult to put it on while you're in the water. 85% of people who die in boating accidents were not wearing the life jacket at the time of the accident. Number two, other required gear. The Coast Guard also requires that you carry a sound producing device. An inexpensive whistle attached to your life jacket meets this requirement. A white light is also required if you're on the water at night. If there's a chance you may not return before sundown, take along a waterproof flashlight so that other boaters can see you. Number three, buddy up. While you may not be venturing far from shore, paddling with a buddy gives you peace of mind that if anything happens, assistance is nearby. Stay close to your buddy or group so that you can enjoy the company and assist when needed. Number four, file a float plan. Make sure that a friend or family member on shore is aware of your plans. Let them know where you're headed, who's in your group, when you expect to return, and what to do if you do not return on time. And be sure to let them know when you're safely back on shore. Number five, bring your phone. Charge your phone and bring it along in a waterproof pouch. Save the number for the Coast Guard station at Oregon Inlet so that you can call them in case of emergency. That number is 252-441-6260. And consider a VHF radio. A waterproof VHF radio gives you immediate access to other boaters and the Coast Guard on emergency channel 16. It is designed for a marine environment. Number six, know the environment. Check the weather, especially the wind, and stay close to shore. In the sound, wind can carry you away from land and make it difficult to return. It is always best to paddle into the wind and return with the wind at your back. In the ocean, surf can quickly capsize a kayak and rip currents can carry you out. A sit on top kayak is much easier to re-enter if you do capsize. Assess the conditions when you arrive and look for another place to paddle if you're not confident that your skills are a match for the conditions. Number seven, dress for the environment. Hot weather calls for clothing and gear that can protect you from sun exposure. Cover up, use sunblock, and bring your sunglasses. Cold water immersion can result in cold water shock and hypothermia, even when the air temperature is comfortable. Wool and synthetics provide the best insulation when wet. Neoprene or a dry suit are the best protection from cold water immersion. It's particularly important that you stay close to shore when the water is cold. Number eight, practice self-rescues. Before you get too far from the launch, jump off your kayak and practice getting back on. Be sure your paddling partner is nearby. This will give you the confidence you need in case you capsize during your adventure. If you fall off and can't get back on, stay with your kayak. Distances are deceiving and the best bet is to hold onto your kayak until help arrives. Number nine, bring water. Paddling in the sun, wind, and waves can tire you out quickly. Make sure to bring plenty of water. Take a break every 20 minutes to take a drink and take in the scenery. Number 10, have fun. You're now prepared for a great day on the water. You'll be paddling in one of the world's most diverse marine environments, and whether you're on the sound, on a river, or out in the ocean, you're well equipped for a safe and satisfying day on the water. Enjoy.